hello and welcome to my science tutorials in today's video we are going to be looking at more concept before we begin if you are new to my science tutorials kindly consider subscribing and pressing that notification button so that you don't miss any of our latest tutorials on biology chemistry mathematics and physics so let's begin so we want to first of all start by knowing the definition of mole so a mole of a substance is that amount of the substance that contains as so many elementary entities as there are in 12 grams of carbon 12. So what, what we mean by this is uh, every substance contains some entities which we are calling the elementary entities and then this number of entities has been determined or is known to us as the Avogadro's number or Avogadro's constant given to us by L which is equal to what 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 entities so it's either atoms or molecules or ions molecules or ions. it depends on the entities that we are considering in our definition so if so if we say one mole of an atom so we are saying that atom contains 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 atoms if we are saying one mole of an ion we mean it contains this number of what ions that is what we mean by uh, uh, elementary entities so the entities can either be atoms molecules or ions now the relationship between the Avogadro's number which is the L and then the amount of substance or the mole represented by N the mole is represented by N so the relationship between them is given to us by what capital N is equal to small n multiplied by L where capital N is what the number of entities number of entities okay our n is the mole okay and then our l is the avo gadros number avo gadros number or constant so what we mean by this is let's let's just do a quick um, example so if we mean if we say one mole of what of potassium k what we mean by this is what potassium is what an element okay so it means what this one mole of uh, potassium contains what 6.02 times 10 raised to the power 23 atoms atoms of what potassium k this is what we mean by what one mole of k so this is the number of what atoms of k that we can find in one mole of potassium if we say one mole of what fluoride ion or fluorine ion okay what we mean by this is we have what 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 what ions of what fluorine this is what we mean by what one mole of fluorine ion the same way if we have one mole of what oxygen which is a, a molecule we mean what it contains 6.02 times 10 to the power what 23 molecules what of what oxygen gas so this is what we mean by what one mole so every mole of any substance contains the avogadro's number or l uh, number of entities of that particular element so uh this uh equation or this relation is very very important we can also find a uh, mole by using molar mass of a particular quantity now the molar mass of a particular quantity is the mass of one mole of that substance and then the mole can also be given by what mass over what our molar mass so this relation is also very very important now let's look at some basic uh, examples on what what mole is and then how we can solve it using avogadro's number and then capital n which is what the number of entities so we have been asked to do what calculate the number of what i oxygen molecules then i i oxygen atoms in 0 0.5 more oxygen gas we have been given the l or the avogadro's number to be what 6.023 times 10 to the power 23 all right so let's go ahead and write down our solution first of all we have been asked to find what 
calculate the number of moles the number of what oxygen molecules so we know the n capital n is equal to what small n multiplied by l and then we know n the capital n is what the number so whenever we hear number we know it's what the capital n if we hear amount amount of substance we know it's what small n so let's know uh, know that so number is what capital and number of something is what the capital n the amount is the n small n that we have over here so the question is saying calculate the number so we are using what the capital n is the number of what oxygen molecules now an oxygen molecule is this o2 so in this case and we have been given the mole to be what 0.5 so we multiply 0.5 by the avogadro's number which is what 6.023 times 10 to the power 23 so our number of what oxygen molecules or o2 over here if we punch this into the calculator is what 3.01 times 10 to the power 23 molecules molecules of what oxygen gas now let's look at the second aspect the second aspect is telling us to find what oxygen atoms not molecule but atoms now oxygen molecule is what two oxygen atoms so oxygen molecule contains what two oxygen atoms so which means the mole of what the oxygen molecule here is what 0 0.5 but for the oxygen atom itself it will be twice that mole which is what 0 0.5 multiplied by 2 which is equal to what 1 so for oxygen atoms it will be what one mole of the oxygen atom so if that is the case it means our n this number is equal to n times l and then our n is what uh, our mole is still uh, is now one because we are using uh, because we are finding atoms so it's twice uh, the oxygen atom so it's one multiplied by what two is one sorry one multiplied by what 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 so this is still the same amount of what uh entity so it's 0 0.23 times 10 to the power 23 what atoms of oxygen okay so this is just uh the first example let's look at another example so what is i the mass of 0 0.8 mole of sodium carbonate i i the amount of substance or the mole of five grams of calcium carbonate given that the relative atomic mass of sodium is 23 carbon is 12 oxygen is 16 and then calcium is 40 or 40. so let's write down our solution and then i what is the mass so we have been asked to find the mass we do not know but we know the mole n is what 0 0.8 over here and then we have been given the compound to be what sodium carbonate all right so we know mole is what mass over molar mass okay so which means if you want to find the mass over here mass is what uh, sorry mass is what mole times molar mass but we do not know the molar mass of what the sodium carbonate that we have so we need to calculate the molar mass of sodium carbonate which is equal to what we have two atoms of what uh sodium so we have two na plus one carbon plus three atoms of what oxygen now the relative atomic mass for sodium is 23 so plus carbon is 12 plus 3 into bracket our uh, oxygen is what 16 so if we compute this into the calculator we are going to get 106 gram per mole gram per mole is the unit of what molar mass of uh, a compound so from here we can go on ahead and say our mass is equal to what our mole which is what 0 0.8 multiplied by our molar mass which is what 106 so our mass in this case is what 84.8 grams so this concludes the first aspect of uh, the question so the second aspect of the question is uh, saying amount of substance so we we are to find the mole 
given that we have the mass is what five grams and then our compound is what calcium carbonate so like we did before we had to find the mole and then we know mole is what mass over molar mass the same way we do not have molar mass we need to calculate the molar mass of what calcium carbonate so let's do that so molar mass of calcium carbonate is equal to what the calcium plus carbon plus what three moles of what oxygen so we have our calcium is 40 plus carbon is 12 plus 3 into bracket 16 for the oxygen so it means our molar mass over here if we input this into the calculator is what 100 gram per mole for our molar mass so it means our mole or the amount of substance is what 5 grams over what 100 gram per mole so our mole over here is what 0 0.05 moles all right let's have a look at another example so we are to calculate i the number of atoms present the number of what atoms number so we are to the number over here means what capital n so number of atoms present in what 1.5 mole our small n of sodium i i the number of chloride ions present in what 65 grams of calcium chloride so let's start the first one is saying what the number of atoms present in zero so our mole is what 1.5 mole and then our element is what sodium which has the relative atomic mass of what 23 so let's look at that to find the number of atoms present capital n is equal to small n times l so we have our small n is 1.5 times Avogadro's number which is 6.023 times 10 raised to the power what 23 so it means our capital n is what or the amount or the number sorry number of what atoms present is 9.035 times 10 raised to the power what 23 atoms of what sodium so i i we have to find what the number of chloride ions so chloride ions the number of chloride ions so capital n of what chloride ions we do not know but we have the mass to be what 65 grams and then the compound we are using is what calcium chloride so first of all we know that what capital n is what small n times l but we do not know the small n so we know small n is what mass over molar mass so we need to find the molar mass of what calcium chloride so this is what 40 plus carbon which is 12 plus what sorry uh this is 40 plus what twice chlorine which is what 35.5 so this will give us what 111 gram per mole as our molar mass so from there we can say what our mole is what 65 which is the mass divided by the molar mass and then our mole is equal to what 0 0.586 moles of what calcium chloride so this is the mole of what calcium chloride itself but the question is telling us to find the what the number of what chloride ions so it means we need to find the mole of what the chlorine ions so we write calcium chloride and then we get calcium plus two chlorine ions calcium two plus okay so if this is the mole of the calcium chloride 0 0.586 it means the mole over here was to be 0 0.586 and then the chlorine ions will be what twice 0 0.586 so the mole of what the chloride ions the mole of what chloride ions is equal to what 1.17 moles if this is the case it means what our capital n or the number of chloride ions is now what the mole which is 1.17 times the avogadro's number which is what 6.023 times 10 to the power what 23 and then this will give us what 7.047 times 10 to the power what 23 chloride what ions so this is how we uh solve basic uh, problems on more concepts this is just an intro so uh, in the upcoming videos we'll be looking more into how to use more concepts to solve 
uh, more problems and uh, how to use more concepts during practicals so thank you so much for watching and then i'll see you in the next video bye bye